morning guys and welcome back to another sewing vlog. Um, if you're new here, my name's Shereen and I talk all things sewing and homemaking. So if that's something you love too, then I would love if you join the sewing family. So today I thought I would take you along with my sewing day. I've got quite a few little bits and bobs and loose ends that I want to tie up. No pun intended. But yes, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. These are my pyjamas that I made very recently in January. If you haven't watched my what I made in January video, I go into a lot of detail about this um, over there. But I do have matching elasticated bottoms with them, which are super, super comfortable. And yeah, I really, really love them. Really light and airy, perfect, especially for holidays. Um, I love the bow detailing here at the top. And the fabric is actually an Ikea curtain. It was a little bit sheer. Uh, so I have put a lining, it's still still a little bit sheer to be honest. I should have probably put a thicker lining, but yeah, I really do love it, it's fine for pyjamas. And yeah, love the design. I'm actually thinking, because I love this design so much, I might actually create these as PDF digital patterns that you can download. Because um, this was self-drafted, I've completely made the top from scratch. The trousers are a sewing pattern, I want to say, no I won't say because I don't remember, I'm probably going to butcher it, but I'll leave a link down below. It's a really lovely pattern. It's actually not made as a pyjama bottom pattern, but I just think the shape of it is just great for it and the elasticated waistband and the pockets are just a game changer. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them as pyjamas, but yeah, the top, I feel like I could even make this as like a summery top, um, even with a longer bow maybe, or even as a dress. I mean, the possibilities really are endless with this one. But yeah, really, really comfortable. Just made myself a coffee, and I always choose the mug that best summarizes the, <laughs> the weather outside. And there are some signs of spring life out there, which has been really, really exciting. And it's actually been a slightly longer day, so it's a little bit lighter now. So yeah, not as grim and miserable. And yeah, just when you stand out and the sun's actually quite warm. So it's been really, really lovely to have that change and it's really had a good impact on my mood. So hence, we are here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I'd take you along. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is finishing off my caftan dress, which I started last month, um, you would have seen. But I do want to add a couple more tiers onto it um, because it's a little bit shorter. So I need to do that today just to finish that off. And then I'm also going to be filming my 10 minute Valentine gifts and decor, which is gonna go up next week. I'm really excited actually for you to see that. I might actually be up already depending on when I put this video up. But yeah, I'm filming that today and that's gonna be really fun. Can't wait to do that one. And I'm gonna shoot some photos for that as well as film the video. And yeah, we'll just kind of see what else we get up to because there's always a little few bits and bobs to get done. Last time I watched the film, I sewed a couple of holes in my favourite tights that don't exist anymore, which is killing me slowly, but anyway. And then I did some weaving out of my little craftiosity kit. And yeah, it's just been really, really nice to kind of do those little mindless tasks by the sofa. So we'll see, because I also want to start planning as well what I want to plant in this spring. I did have to put in some last minute bulbs in the ground that I hadn't yet planted, which is a little bit naughty, it's a, bit, a little bit late, but we'll see what happens to those. Um, and actually on that topic, the anemone maize that I have haven't been planted, they haven't been soaked yet, so I should probably start soaking them now, ready so they can be planted. But yes, who else is excited for spring gardening? Because I know I am. And if you've been around on my channel for a little bit, you would have seen last year that I really got into my first year of gardening. And yeah, it was a lot, a lot of fun. So I will still be sharing some of that with you, but that will be more in my sort of vlog style bits as well. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'm going to sit there and plan my day. And then, um, yeah, I'll take you along. So I've been planning my day and I've got everything organised. Um, I'm not really a plan before the day sort of person because I'm very spontaneous like that. So I can't really plan until the day of the day that I'm planning for, if that makes sense. 
don't know if any of you guys are the same, but here we are. But before I sat down to plan, I popped some fabrics in the wash and they are now done. These are the ones that I actually thrifted quite recently. So you should be seeing that video quite soon because I have filmed that already, just haven't edited it yet. So yeah, you'll be able to see what I picked up. You might actually manage to get a sneak peek on this video, <laughs> but I'm gonna put them up to dry now. Um, might put them on the heater dry a bit later, but let's do that first. Actually, what I might do since there's so much space still on the route is I might actually do my other um, coloured washing of the fabrics that I also bought the other day because there is space on the rail at the minute so let's do that as well while we're on it. love having a productive morning so that's now on which is great and I think what I'm gonna do now is just to spend a little bit of time tidying up my sewing room because I you know I've thrown a few things just in there without actually sorting them out so I'm going to do that just for a little bit of clarity of mind um, and then we'll get on into some sewing so let's go so if you watched um, my last couple of videos you would have seen this top slash dress that I made and yeah I really really love it love the sleeve um just the bottom I think I'm going to add another layer because it's a little bit on the short side but I do want a little bit more ruffle than the pattern is actually suggesting so yes I'm going to take my original ruffle that I cut out and actually add a second panel into that just to give me a little bit more room to gather because I felt last time that it just looked a bit straight even the first one even that first here just feels very very straight now the other thing that I noticed when I tried it on is that this seam on the arm so this bit here just is quite itchy on the inside and I'm thinking that I'm going to try and top stitch this down here um, and we'll see how we go but yeah I think the main aim really is to add the bottom tier and then I feel like it's finished because at the minute I just feel like it's not quite wearable and I don't like being in that limbo phase so <laughs> let's do that first you'll have to excuse the lighting because in this room for some reason I don't know why but it's really really dark and the camera's coping quite well actually but Mame, Mame, me and Finn, we finish having your morning nap on me now after your breakfast. You want to come up here? Yeah, it's going when we know she's here. She is here. Look at this little face. Look at the little face. Oh, you don't like it. You want to go down, mummy now. You was so cute, puppy. All right, off you go. Let's get dismantling this little ring. Adding this one in and re-gathering. I don't know about you guys, but gathering is not my favorite task. Can you see I'm super procrastinating it? I just, I'm not keen on gathering. I just hate it. <laughs> anyway, let's just get it done, shall we? Also, don't mind the pajamas. I'm, <laughs> I actually just cannot be able to change. I'm actually just gonna stay in this for as long as I feel like. So um, yeah, I've made my face presentable, so. That's my justification for it, okay? <laughs>
So, we are there. I have sewn in the top stitching here, just so it's not so irritating on the inside. And I've added the bottom tier, so it's a little bit longer now. I just need to remove the gathering stitches at the end, and then we're pretty much there. Um, I'll be popping in a handmade label at the top here, and I'm still debating whether I want some white lace trim here, because I do have some in my stash. But I'm going to have a little um, play around and see what I think. But yeah, most of it is pretty much done, which is lovely. I love having a finished garment. And now it comes up to my knee. So much, much, much better length. Now, once I'm done doing that, I think what I'm going to do is, because I just found this random piece of scrap fabric, which is the same fabric of what I'm wearing, I think I actually just might make this, because it's a long rectangle, into a scrunchie. So it's like matching my top. Um, or I could make it into a bow, so I can put a bow in my hair. Um, but yes, I'll do that as well. And then, yes, we'll catch up afterwards. Mm -hmm. 